The naked mole rat is a common field pest in East Africa, but they are becoming increasingly common in biomedical laboratories. They're very tolerant to cancer. They're extremely long-lived, so they live for 30 years, which is 10 times longer than same-size rats and mice. One really interesting thing about naked mole rats is that they live in extremely large numbers. So a colony of naked mole rats can consist of up to two or 300 individuals. Right, the downside to living in very large numbers is that they use up all the oxygen and they overproduce carbon dioxide. Other subterranean mammals don't live in large numbers because they can't handle the oxygen deprivation and the acidity associated with high carbon dioxide. The most recent thing we found is that they can survive long periods of really difficult oxygen deprivation that would be deadly to human beings and other mammals. The new finding might make you wonder, does the naked mole rat belong in the animal kingdom at all? Under severe oxygen deprivation, the naked mole rats release fructose into the blood and the brain cells and heart cells are full of fructose pumps and enzymes that can metabolize fructose. This is not seen in any other mammal. It's more associated with the way plants use metabolism. So they have an insect-like social structure and they have a plant-like metabolism. We used a technique called mass spectrometry to look at all the different metabolites and many other things. And so as we went through one by one, we noticed, holy cow, fructose is through the roof in a lot of these tissues. One of the big things that we wanted to figure out was where is this fructose being used? So we isolated both heart tissue and brain tissue to determine what level of fructose was being used in these tissues. Could this unusual metabolism be exploited to prevent or cure disease? What we want to do with this information is to find out how we can utilize the fructose pathway in heart attacks. So in a heart attack, we lose a lot of the oxygen going to our brain. If we can figure out how to upregulate this fructose system and utilize that instead of the glucose system, we will be able to maintain those brain cells at a healthy level.